women laugh at that more than men. <laughs> Bruce, we have a different sense of humor, doesn't it? To men, the three stooges are funny. To women, not even one stooge is funny. To women, three stooges is just redundant. <laughs> I understand the little differences. I think we all do. A highlight to a woman is a hair color, not a sports reference. <laughs> a, a rack to a woman is a shelf for spices. <laughs> women put soap in a bowl and call it decorative. Men are more practical, we put soap where it belongs, on a rope. <laughs> Women light a candle to enjoy a pleasant fragrance, men light a candle to hide an unpleasant one. <laughs> Little things are easy, I'm trying to grasp the bigger picture. I'm trying to figure out what women want. I've been reading all the self-help books. Guess what? They're not helpful. They're confusing, to say the least. The titles alone, this one, Who Am I? I don't know, so I bought I'm OK, You're OK. <laughs> that doesn't help. I got Who Am I This Time? <laughs> Followed by I'm Dysfunctional, You're Dysfunctional. <laughs> These are real. I'm not making them up. There's more. The inner male, the broken heart, the uh, male ego. Women men love, women men leave. When women leave men who love them. Men who hate women and the women who love them. Women who love men who kill. Men who kill women who hate them. What do women want? Eat more, weigh less? What do women really want? 5,000 years of foreplay. It's all so confusing trying to figure this out. What do women want? I don't know. I think I know what you don't want. We can start there. Ladies, you don't want chauvinism. It shouldn't exist, but I am a man. No matter how hard I try not to be chauvinistic, sometimes my genetic pool just leaks every so often. <laughs> not a lot I can do about it. It's genetic. I can't shop. I eat like a pig. I like to get drunk. I need my space. <laughs> and I don't like cats. <laughs> hey, most men don't. Look, I know why I don't. When I was four years old, I wanted a dog for my birthday. My grandmother bought me a cat, told me it was a female dog. What do I know? I'm four. I'm trying to teach her dog tricks. She's a cat. She has a mind of her own. She won't fetch. She won't speak. I call her. She doesn't come. She basically ignores me until I ignore her. Then she jumps on my chest. She sticks her butt right in my face. I couldn't figure this cat out. Of course, now I realize she was preparing me for a life with women. <laughs> Ladies, that was a metaphor. Trying to explain, I'm like most men, we're born stubborn, another genetic defect. I'm not interested in a different point of view. Told me it was a dog, it's not acting like a dog. What do I do? I do what any guy would do, force her to be a dog, make her fit in, get with the program. <laughs> Took her swimming. <laughs> My dog drowned. <laughs> well, funny now. At the time, I cried hysterically. You know how little kids cry? The harder they cry, the less noise they make. They hit that silent pitch only dogs can hear. That was me. I was going, I don't know what happened. I threw in the water. You went on the bottom. You didn't come back up. I don't know what I, what I did. <laughs> to stop me from crying, my grandmother did the wildest thing. She took out two cigarettes. She stuck them in her ears. She looked me right in the eyes. She wiggled her ears. 
I can't do it. <laughs> but she went. I immediately stopped crying. I just went, wow. <laughs> Grandma, how'd you do that? She said it took a delicate balance in the brain that was beyond a man's grasp. I'm like you guys, at first I didn't know what that meant. But then you started listening to me, correct? Right. And you are? I'm your feminine side. Right. All men, we have one, we just don't like to listen to it because it makes us look gay. But we're not, and the word is metrosexual. Metrosexual sounds like a guy hopped on a bus to choke his chicken, but... I get the point. Thinking feminine doesn't threaten our masculinity, gentlemen. It doesn't make us gay. Maybe a little. But just enough to use coasters. It gives us a second point of view, which gives us what Grandma was talking about, some balance. Because we can do both, guys. We can walk in a woman's shoes, just not all 50 pair. We can pee sitting down, as long as we're drinking a beer. We can use potpourri, but only for roughage. <laughs> because with two points of view, we can acquire what it is women want, some balance. <laughs> because, gentlemen, there are two sides to the coin. For every cat that sticks her butt in a man's face, there is a dog that sticks his nose in a woman's butt. <laughs> Once you can realize that, you can find some balance. Wow. 